Hey guys, welcome back to Total OS today. Total technology for beginners and beyond. Well, I think I found something for beginners. I'm not sure. This is new. At least it's new to me. This is something for kids. It is Linux Console 2.5. I just downloaded this and this caught my attention because it is something that is designed for kids. And I cannot think of the last time I said something or took a look at something designed for kids. So why not? So I downloaded this. Now, I am running this off a USB stick. This is not a full install. It appears to be running fine. I did download and install Voco Screen, uh, the screen recorder. And hopefully this will not crash. This will be an unedited video. My look at Linux Console 2.5. All right, so this has the uh, Mate desktop envir environment or, or Mate. If you go to about Mate... 1.12.0 okay that's fine well let's take a quick browse through this and see what we have and now, now again keep in mind from what i understand this is designed for kids so let's take a look applications accessories uh nothing out of the usual here games okay so extreme tux racer i have played mind test i have not played super tux cart i have played yes those are perfectly fine for kids graphics all right, nothing unusual here. Internet, Cupzilla, a very lightweight web browser. I have used this before. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's do a quick uh, search here for Linux console 2.5. Okay, so let's go right there. See what it looks like. All right, so Linux console 2.5 is out. It is designed for children and kids. Easy to install on old computers with... Apparently it has a Windows installer. I will not be testing that, but all the information is here. Okay, software available. Let's see. Looks like Minecraft, Steam. That's nice. Open Arena, SuperTux we have, Xmoda. Some of these I am familiar with. So it looks like you can download and install some extra pieces of software if you want to, including Firefox, Google Chrome, Chrome, and Skype. Okay easy enough let's go back and take a look at this so where were we okay internet we looked at other uh, well this is already installed by default it appears Firefox Chrome Libra Minecraft and Skype let's see if Minecraft will boot up okay nothing's happening in there so maybe it does have to be installed oh there we go okay all right okay so there you go okay let's keep on moving along here let's see sound and video uh, I did install Kazam that will not boot um, let's see I looked at pulse audio volume control I did install and it appears to be running Voco screen so all is fine there system tools anything sticks out here um, nothing unusual let's go to the task manager real quick all right, 300 megabytes out of four gigs. So it's certainly light places home. Again, this is very sparse, very, well, I guess it's meant to be. It's very lightweight, so there you go. Uh, let's see, desktop, computer. Okay, my other uh, drives here, we'll uh, ignore that. Recent documents, these were quick tests I did with the screen recorder and they all seemed okay. Let's see, preferences, hardware, nothing unusual here, internet, network, look and feel. Uh, let's see, let's go to customize look and feel. Okay, I mean, it's, those of you who are familiar with Linux, I'm sure you have seen this before. I'll just keep it the way it is. Let's go close, back to system. Let's look at the um, administration. Okay, let's go to the control center. Okay, this is self-explanatory. Administration, hardware, look and feel, personal, set update, and all that stuff. The one thing I did notice, um, I did not notice Synaptic to uh, the package manager to install packages. Uh, let's see if we can do that real quick. Uh, let's you know. Let's right-click terminal, open in terminal. All right, that does not seem to be working off the USB. Uh, the way I installed VocoScreen, 
Uh, let's see. How did I install it? <laughs> uh, what did I do? What did I do? I'm drawing a blank. Um, yeah, the LX terminal. That's what I did. Duh. Let's see. So do sudo apt get install synaptic. Uh, install Kaicon theme, sure. Okay, it appears to be done. Let's see if we have its preferences, administration. There we go. Yeah, if you're going to install this, I would highly recommend you install the Synaptic Package Manager. And let's see if it'll load off the USB stick. Okay, does not appear to be loading. I would imagine if you did a full install of this, it should work fine, but definitely recommend it. One thing I did notice looking at this, I don't see uh, the sound icon here. Um, that's unusual. We have two desktops here at the bottom, the LX terminal. Show the desktop. Uh, let's see if we can drag the volume control here. Okay, so you can do that. Yeah, definitely recommend it. If, especially after a full install, you don't have the shortcut or the icon for volume. Well, other than that, I mean, what can I say? It's it's certainly lightweight. It's fast, even running off a USB stick. Uh, it's designed for kids, presumably because it has some games ready to go. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, you can certainly install any uh, Ubuntu-based operating system and install these games uh, afterwards if you so choose to. The one advantage I see with this is it is definitely lightweight and fast, even running off a USB stick, and I have not, have not noticed uh, any crashes. So as far as Linux console uh, 2.5 goes, its main advantage here is lightweight and speed. Uh, but then again, you can install... Um, XFCE desktop, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, and some others Linux Lite, and certainly install a whole slew of games and or programming uh, designed for kids. But if you're looking for something lightweight and easy on the resources, you may want to give this one a try. But as far as the default um, software installed for kids, I'm not really seeing a lot here, at least in terms of the default software but hey it's lightweight it's fast so why not give it a shot it is designed for older computers if you would like to save that older computer so give it a shot that's all i can tell you about this one well this one has satisfied my curiosity that's it if i missed anything let me know if you can think of another uh, linux distribution for kids sure let me know maybe i'll take a look at that one that's all I have for this one. Thank you for joining me today on the Total OS Today Technology Channel. As always, enjoy your technology, and please don't text and drive. Ciao.